The Idea Collective Retreat is coming soon, and I'm excited because I get a chance to sit down with one of the big deals at the retreat, one of our keynotes, Precious L. Williams. She's coming to the retreat to kick us off on Friday morning. Her keynote, Pitch Please, The Art of the Killer Pitch. Precious, I'm so excited to see you. How have you been? I've been wonderful. There means so many great things that are happening in my life, in my clients' lives. I, I could go on and on, but for real, I'm just excited to come. I'm excited to pour in to the attendees and I want to light a fire under them that will not go out. So people think they know about pitching, get ready because <laughs> you're going to learn some things you've never heard about the art and the science of the what? Killer pitch. I see. Okay. Now I've interviewed you on a podcast and had a great time, but a little birdie has told me that your stage presentation is on a totally different level. Is that right? It is. It is. And people are always talking like, oh, wow, she really is like energy personified. So I'm going to bring the big fire and the big energy. If you think you're going to be bored, I promise you, you will not. I'm going to have you on your feet. I'm going to have you laughing because you're really going to learn, but you're going to be entertained along the way. They don't call me the killer pitch master for, you know, just for a, a, a <laughs> silly reason. It's because I will help you what slay all competition. All of us have gone against big companies, small companies and doubted, had fear, doubt, and worry in our mind. And I want to put your mind at ease because the right audience needs you. Sometimes we're playing in the wrong sandbox. Sometimes our pitches just aren't landing because the messaging isn't right for that particular audience. And maybe you're really supposed to be pitching to another audience altogether. So when you start to meld all of that together, you're going to see why it's called pitch, please. Because people, <laughs> people, people have been not, not respecting your name, not respecting your company, but I'm going to need you to put some respect on your own name. I'm going to need you to know how to pitch your business, your brand, your book, your product or service with ease. Because all we're going to do is what? Bait, attract, and close. <laughs> Period. Repeat. You want to turn, you want to turn prospects into repeat clients. You got to show up for pitch, please. The art of the killer pitch. Now, you said that a lot cooler than I did. I just got to admit that you, that was awesome. And we're talking about <laughs> the killer pitch here. Like, this is where people might perform a brilliant service. They might be a true market of one. They might be a, a subject matter expert. But they just can't find, is it confidence? Is it enthusiasm? What's missing in some people's pitches? Well, there are quite a few things I think are missing. One, a lot of them are boring because they're listening to what the gurus are saying and just, just trying to, oh, well, they say it like that. Babe, your audience may not like that. Uh, I don't know anybody who likes regurgitated information. If you really are the master of your business and you know exactly what you're doing, part of that is you're so into it. But a person like me being an outsider, I'm going to see things you don't see. Another thing that I think is a problem is people seem to think what their audience's main problem is, and that's not what it is. In their own words, you need to know what they're saying in their own words, what's keeping them up at night, not what you think. I've had somebody say to me, you know, I can teach you how to have joy in your life. The manifestation, I use all these big words, and I'm like, I do have a law degree. I understand what you're saying, and it sounds like fluff. I got real issues, real problems. I got, you know, people have problems with finances. People have my, fi problems with time, getting themselves out there. And I need you to speak to that more than uh, this. And also another thing that I think is a lot of us don't truly believe in ourselves enough to overcome all objections. I think objections are great because you build your muscle. You really are building the muscle of knowing how to overcome and also how to understand how your target market really thinks. Are you just one, one like everybody else or are you the only choice that matters? And I want you all to come away from the Art of the Killer pitch knowing deep down in every fiber of your being, you are the only choice that matters to the right target market for you. So you're not gonna bore them. You're not gonna give them the platitudes. You're gonna give them real results but it's because you know your craft really well. You can anticipate what's going on with them and take them in the right direction. And you're going to do it beautifully because it's going to be built on you, not a regurgitated guru with some good regurgitated information from a guru said. Make yourself the own celebrity, like your own brand. That's why you had to come to the, the art of the killer pitch. Now, this whole thing in one keynote, you're going to give us all that in one keynote. 
Listen, listen, I've been, <laughs> I've been a speaker for 27 years and I've enjoyed this. And there's only a, the, the reason why I have such a long career is because I'm not here to bore you. I really want you all to hear what it is that I'm saying. And yes, you're going to laugh. You're going to kiki. And I might put some body in the hot seat, you know, because I can do that. But I want you all to learn the things instead of just listening like, no, I want you to learn it. But I also want you to go out there and make mistakes and get stronger and stronger and stronger. And you can't get to, you can't be a master without making mistakes. So let's go. I'm going to show you what you're probably missing. It. We're going to work it out. Work, work it, it out. out. I love it. What's the power of having the killer pitch? The people you've coached the, in your own experience, when you take someone from blah to killer pitch, what does oh, it do for their from, business? From trash to straight cash. Is that what you're talking about? Well, uh, yeah, cash to cash? You, you could put it that way. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> well, the power is, is not just the sale. It's the repeat sales. It's, it's knowing your niche and dominating with your pitch. I didn't start off being the killer pitch master. I started off by pitching once, twice, and then all of a sudden here I am winning and then showing other women and men how to pitch for money, pitch for investors, pitch to be on national television shows, the things that you think are impossible. But not only that, it opens up a world of opportunities because when people see you cool in this, they'll start pulling you over here and there's a whole bigger world of opportunity. But if they don't know that you're good at one thing, they're not going to see you being great at something else that's tangential, tangentially related to that. So I want you all to experience the fullness of business and the fullness of your, your great career and your life. And it's all about opportunities and relationship building, but you do that with the killer pitch that what slays all competition. You're not only coming to the idea collective retreat, you got a lot going on TV books. I mean, I'm waiting for the movie. Like, tell us about all the things. you. Oh got my here. goodness. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, in my life, I can't believe all this is happening now. So in the meantime, since you and I just last spoke, I shot a new television show for entrepreneurs on the West coast with uh, Janice Bryant, Howroyd with David Meltzer, Marie Osmond. Loved every minute of it. And they chose me as a pitch trainer. And after hearing me pitch once, they chose me as a co-host. That's the power of understanding who you are and an opportunity presented itself right there, right? Uh, my fourth book, The Pitch Queen, is coming out of September 2022. And with my fourth book, which is already a bestseller already in pre-sales, that's crazy to me. And so the pitch queen is really telling more of my background story, but also how it will help others. So it's not necessarily just pitch, 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 but how did I even get to this point when I've made every mistake under the sun that an entrepreneur, a woman, <laughs> a full figure diva could ever make. And yet look at where I am. I, I embraced every part of it. Not only that, you know, speaking at BMW and a host of other uh, programs, I am teaching in different accelerators and just being offered opportunities. Every, I feel like it's every day. My billboard is in is is in Atlanta right now, it right now for my wow. book, right? And so, how did these opportunities come? No, I didn't know all of this was possible until I understood what my zone of genius is, and other people could see it and. It went from just pitching, like like uh, uh, pitches for investors or uh, pitch competitions to maybe she can help us get earned media. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe she can help us get to this person, that person. And I was like, oh, that's nothing. But you only respect me because I actually have testimonials and credibility and my clients can show you step-by-step -step how it really happened. Oh, expanding their mind and showing them you have a small thought of what you're doing. It's going to be so much bigger. And I want to be here to show you how that's possible. I'm glad you said that. You want to be here because some of our keynotes are coming in virtually. Precious is not. Oh, she nice will nice be on with stage. us on the stage. Yes. It's and I look be. forward to it. I look forward to it. I think being live, there's nothing like it. And there's something about when you look out at the audience and we're here and I can feel the energy. And if it changes, I can change with it. And that's the power of being able to do this for, so, for such a long time is I love it. I love that energy. I love when people come in nervous. What are you going to do? Da -da. Oh, no, I'm going to give you what you want, but I'm also going to give you what you need. What would happen to your business if your pitch was perfected? Precious L. Williams, 
Pitch Please, the Art of the Killer Pitch, keynote speaker at the Idea Collective Retreat, November 10th through the 12th, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Hit up smallbizretreat.com to get your ticket today. Precious, see you in November. Thanks for the time, friend. I will see you. Can't wait.